So um, we've relined it. Now the margins are all bulky and yucky like that, but the inside's looking nice. I can actually see, see my margins. Now, a helpful thing for you to do at this point is to trace where the margins are. Oftentimes, if your line is, is nice and accurate, you'll be able to see those margins very clearly. So just take a pencil and mark where they are. And that becomes your inviolate line, the place you cannot, you don't want to ever touch. Alright, so I can see those lines. I'd also highlight your contact area. You don't want to touch that. Alright. So now we've got the top more or less the way we want it. We can see where those bottom lines are. So working from underneath, can you see that there, Gina? Can you see the underneath part? Let me get it focused. Uh, let me see. Try coming up here. Okay, yeah. Good. All right, working from underneath so I can see that line, I'm going to trim it back. Starting to see my margin better. Now I'm holding it at an angle like this, but eventually I'm going to straighten that up a bit. So it's just work my way around. If I'm unsure in any way of the margin, stay away from it a little bit. Try it back on in the patient's mouth. And take a look. See if it looks over contoured. I'll leave this one a little bit over contoured. And um, we will see when we try it on how that looks. This is the pontic area. On the inside of the pontic area, you want it sloped a little bit more like this. You want the outside where it's visible to touch the gum. On the inside, it could be a little shorter. So I'm joining the edge of that margin with the flat of the tooth that I know is good. So this is a good contour. I want to kind of join those in one smooth, smooth surface. Bulky here, obviously. Let's take that bulk off. Bulky here, obviously, but you don't know where until you look underneath. See where that margin is. Hard to stay in focus there, isn't it, Gina? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's put some air on here. And let's try this on the model and see where we're at. Alright, so I try it on. Now, if I had some gum tissue, I know it's got to end right here. Can you see that, Gina? Mm -hmm. Let's put it on. Whoa, we're past that. Okay, that's pushing my explorer. My explorer is way up underneath there, so that's not good. i got to trim it back some more there. Same thing on the inside. That margin is critical because that keeps the gum from being inflamed. So just as I thought, see there's my margin. I knew I was overextended. Let's trim it back a bit more. Let's trim the outside back a bit more. Moving the outside as well as the margin. Let's blow it off and check it again. There's my margin. Let's watch it. Down, down, down it goes. Ooh, that's just about right. That's perfect right there. That was still a little overextended, but. Not bad, and on the inside, we're looking better. So you can just do that. Check it in the mouth, check it on the internal surface, see where you're at until you get the margins where you want them to be. Okay, so that's pretty much it with this big fat bird. And I'm going to just flatten this approval surface off a bit. After we patch that hole, and obviously I don't want any hooks or 
stuff on top of there. Okay, now comes the part that everybody has trouble with. Using the sandpaper disc to get the internal margins, the uh, embrasures right. All right. So I've got the outside margins more or less okay, but these interior parts are big and bulky and are going to inflame the gums. So we have to open this up. No bridge looks like this, right? This is a big block. They look like individual teeth. So let's start. Now you've got to work by pulling this. Don't push it. You to pull it to where you want to go, and it will cut in a straight ahead direction. Now as I'm doing it, I'm looking where the disc comes out. I'm starting to cut into my pontic. So I want to change my angle a bit. And then as I do that, I just drag it and smooth. Now the inside, same thing. Kind of round off those more round off that corner. I'm also looking inside at where those margins are inside. As I get close to it, I like the sandpaper disc. Alright, so I've kind of defined that margin. Let's do the same thing over here. Now you don't want to cut too far in with this. I could take this and just cut straight through it. Because the more you cut this, the more you make this cut, the weaker the temporary becomes. So you want enough for aesthetics, like on the outside of this. I want this to look like a separate tooth. Notice how I'm just pulling against this thing and rounding it. Now I'll flip it around. That side's rounded. This is not. I'm just trying to create some individuality of the teeth as well as creating a rounded surface at my margin. I look around here. Alright, we've got some better contour here. Now I'm going to do the opposite side of this front one. Alright, let's try it on again. Much better. Now we've got some space for the gums to breathe here. You want to be able to get through here so the patient can get a proxy brush or a floss threader through here. And you want these edges to, do, to not extend past where the margins are. I think this one is a little bit overextended. You want the pontic to be touching the gum. Same thing on the inside. You want all the edges round and enough of the space but not so much, I don't want to cut this up so much that this bridge is going to break. Okay. I'm going to just take a little bit more off here because I know this is overextended just a bit. I like the sandpaper disc. It makes a very smooth cut. polishes up very nicely afterwards. making sure your margins are not too bulky. Take a look at this here, Jamie. 